with hello everyone and here I am with my first lego star wars summer 2024 review or actual summer 2024 review and this one's on jack bob stark Flyer from rebuild the galaxy that has just been released or as of now being released so on the front of the box here we have the lego star wars logos and similar border to what we've been seeing since early 2022 but now with a like colorful stripe to it and saying rebuild the galaxy of course since well fitting to the mixing up of it all of course you can see a picture of the set in action on was probably a reformed genosis or something and then, yeah. and then all three main things included and recommended ages is eight and up set number seven five three eight eight has 305 pieces on the back side see a picture of the set in a resting position and with a little battle of our minifigs going on and also one of the showing both features of it and and that is it and on to the instruction manual of which kind of odd cgi rendering like we've been seeing since mid 2022 but whatever and then the, the transition from plastic bags to paper bags and add for the builder app and on the back how to win on the online survey all the pieces that come with the set of course and then add for all three rebuild the galaxy sets which the other two of which expect reviews of soon or expect reviews on the other two soon and then the last building steps Now, on to the fix. First off, the main highlight of which is the uh, new done Jedi Bob, um, who, which, we, which obviously we haven't seen in any sets since 2002, well, uh, or most obviously the 2002 uh, Republic gunship, well in, that, well in that set was called the, was just generic Jedi or just called Jedi Knight and just a random one but as all of us in the community did call Jedi Bob but now recall here of course but however the torso printing or his torso printing which looking just about the same as that minifig obviously and also the lightsaber hilt just the same uh, metallic silver piece instead of being like chrome like the original version did but however it's the rest of which is still done well for that and of course the uh, cape part for the Jedi cloak of which kind of the soft material instead of the thick material which the original version did but however the face printing kind of a unique touch to it well it does have the same old hood piece as that but the uh, face printing which obviously does look kind of a bit like the uh, actual one of it, but, and also same with the torso printing, which as for the little uh, gaps in the lines, uh, which is that, that to make it look like it's kind of faded or been in, or been stored away or something. So kind of like the torso printing of Benny in the Lego movie line where is where his torso printing looked like it was faded or aged over time but however nice to see that going on here as well and of course the face printing also the same as that uh, original version did and next to which is an akbar trooper which is pretty much just a a like a Ak admiral akbar but as a clone trooper but However, the torso print like printing quite similar to most uh, clone troopers like, and I think probably also like in the uh, recent battle pack that there was, and then the headpiece of which kind of similar to previous uh, Avril Akbar's, then, but, or I mean quite updated from previous ones of which like some unique different printings and so on. And also nice to see this return since like 2016 with the sequel trilogy, of course. And then last of which is a goth droid called Servo, or otherwise 
S R V O Servo, of course. Probably because he's like serving someone, but however, this a uh, Gonk Droid design quite unique, quite more unique than some other Gonk Droids we previously did. Like there's obviously the ridge brick in front of it, and also it's nice to see in a dark blue and sam blue and dark and light gray color scheme for that, and also a, cl a clear green uh, stud for an eye, which. So maybe he's just kind of a, a redone opposite uh, to Gonk Droid, of course. But interesting to see that here, of course. And as for the back torso printings on each of them, with Jedi Bob, not at all any for that. Which also, obviously, like the actual original one, it also does have back face printing, which not prop true on the original Jedi Bob for that. But however, uh, at least good to have some bit of diversity for that. And of course, Akbar Trooper, same as for most other clone troopers. And that's about it with the mini things. And now, on to uh, Bob's uh, Jedi Star Flyer, of course. So, which kind of similar to most previous star flyers that we have gotten over the years like and of course we did get a lot of it since like the 2008 Anakin's one and for that but however and of course they've all been the same except for the 2015 uh, Anakin's custom Jai starfighter or aka as your angel of course but Well, in that case, mostly for the front engine parts here, which have the like ice skate kind of pieces on there, and also the cylinder pieces from the 2021 X Wing and uh, this current X Wing in this wave. Yeah. And then, as for this front nose part, which is kind of this tip like part and wedges going all the way down, and also does have some of those ridge pieces in there, and also this. Some of the design, which quite similar to the to Obi Wan Kenobi's uh, Jedi Starfire that or that we had into in 2022, but without stud shooters on top of it. But and also, if you notice on that one, it was quite gappy for that. But on this one, not at all any gaps for that. Well, except for in the far back for that. But the rest of which quite concealed. Of which great to see there. And also does have some nice curving or a lot of wedge pieces going on, making this sort of arrow looking design to it. Which nice to see there. And then as for this one, a uh, jagged slope up here. Uh, of which that has one sticker on it. So there's quite few stickers in this set, but however with this one of which of which like the 2017 one is pop it open and is actually a storage compartment instead of putting an astromech droid in it. It's kind of interesting, but however, it does have just a banana and a, a carton of blue milk, like we saw with the Luke Skywalker poly bag for that. So, kind of random and all, but probably to hide from a minion or whatever. <laughs> but maybe it's something that will go on in the Rebuild the Galaxy series. I'm not sure, but yeah. But then as to the bolt sides, which have these quite unique cannon-like designs that have on, that are on like hanging brackets of two different kinds, and also these long bits to it, and also these long technic beam parts to that. And underneath is spring loaded launchers where you could tap on this and they launch off like so. And also kind of similar to the uh, 2015 Custom Jedi Starfighter. That, which was of the old style version Clone Wars, but however, well, that was on like two spots up and down, but this is just on one spot for that. Kind of strange how that is, but yeah. And then this back part, which is just some more wedges, but now turned over to dark gray and also with two stickers onto that. And quite nicely done there. And then as for the far back end part, which are Three different column kind of parts to it, with the uh, trans yellow bits to it acting as the thrust to it. 
and then also and also got a couple more wedges acting as a back tail fin or a fin tail of course and then also quite good in a snot going off with the like curved slopes and tiles up here and then also this campy piece like we've been seeing since 2010 with Atlantis and so on but still nice great to see here but can flip open and does have a large enough cockpit kind of area like does have a little cheese slope with printings on it to be a control panel and of course and obviously enough space is to stick your Jedi block mini fig into and of course since the cape is a, a soft material you don't have to worry about it crinkling and closes over like so so otherwise great to see that and downfall with this cockpit is large gap in there although I think should have at least added a couple of plates underneath it to make it more building and complete but yeah and then as for on the bottom section is just not much going on but as you see it does have a similar design to like most snow speeders and things and also a landing kind of part to it like the others and also this landing gear part like all other starfires and x-wings where you can like clip it in like so and also do have these two clips underneath uh, which to stick Jedi, uh, Jedi Bob's lightsaber onto and also same with an extra spring wheel launcher missile into as well so obviously thinking quite well on storing things but yeah and so now on to the final verdict overall i think this is which a kind of good set for how it is like well obviously in this case the mini fig selection just the most solid part of it like obviously do you get a random fig of the aquar trooper and odd gonk droid of servo but and obviously the main highlight is a new formed jedi bob mini fig but otherwise although you may still have the yellow flesh skin tone but at least even though Lego Star Wars kind of went away from that, but even though they did revisit that well with the 2019 20th anniversary figs for that, but also kind of still nice to see that going on here, but although it would have been nice to, if Jedi Bob was like updated in your standards, but but this would still workable as is, but yeah. But as for the, uh, for 305 pieces for $40 for that, which quite steep for that well maybe because of the minifig selection or uh, i'm not sure for that or maybe just different star wars standards since everything from the resistance show was obviously quite overpriced but they, hopefully this kind of like a similar trend to that but maybe they should see. so i think it should be worth a little less for that at like 30 even which obviously would be great well even though that's kind of stuck in towards like the uh, mega battle packs and such but yeah but for this whole build as is like quite good consistent color scheme of uh, light red and white and gray for that but, but unlike with most jack and of course the shaping which almost like most jedi starfighters but at least with a little bit of uniqueness to it to obviously and of course with the hidden compartment in the center which is just a storage area instead of being used for an astromat droid obviously but yeah and uh what else to say not much but yeah but if this set was 30 i would have appreciated it a little more but yeah and also would be nice if a whole nother fig could have been included like maybe a jedi g notion or whatever well maybe that would have been a little too much but yeah and now if any of you still have are looking to get this set and then definitely get this set and if you're looking looking forward to rebuild the galaxy mini series then definitely get this set and that is it for this video please like comment share or subscribe
Thank you for watching.